By now, pretty much everybody knows what happened to Spider-Man in Avengers Infinity War. If you don't, and you don't want to find out, it would probably be a good idea if you stopped watching this video right now. Everyone's expecting Tom Holland's version of the character to reprise his role as the webbed wonder in the sequel to Spider-Man Homecoming in 2019. There's a theory, however, that it'll be the Miles Morales version of the character headlining the movie. Let's dive deep into this theory and check out some of the reasons why. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It's the best way of keeping up to date with all of Screen Rant's great new videos. I want to know what happened to you. I can teach you to be Spider-Man. Spider-Man came and went a lot quicker than most people expected in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. Peter Parker, played by British actor Tom Holland, first appeared in 2016's Captain America Civil War. Whoa, who's that new guy? Oh, that's me! I gotta go, I gotta go! he was recruited by Tony Stark to join his pro Sokovia Accords team in order to combat Captain America's team of rogue heroes. He then appeared in his own movie, 2017's Spider-Man Homecoming. In that film, he fought against Michael Keaton's Vulture, before joining the fight against Thanos in a quest to save the universe in this year's Avengers Infinity War. I'm Peter, by the way. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Of course, the webbed wonder became one of the many victims of the Mad Titan's iconic finger snap, turning into dust and fading into non-existence while in Tony Stark's arms. This all took place on Thanos' home planet of Titan during the movie's climax. But pretty much everybody is expecting Holland's version of the character to be resurrected and swing back into action straight away in the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel. The film immediately follows next year's as yet untitled fourth Avengers movie, but it might not be that simple. While we fully expect Parker to reappear in the MCU at some stage going forward, this theory suggests that the first Spidey sequel will actually feature the Miles Morales version of Spider-Man as its titular character. And the reasons for that being the case are actually pretty convincing. Come on, how many more spider people are there? Save us for Comic-Con. What's coming? Let's go! Whoa. For starters, the character was very clearly hinted towards in Spider-Man Homecoming. The character of Aaron Davis, who is otherwise known as the Prowler in the comic books, appeared in the movie. Davis was a criminal operating in New York City, who, wanting to further his criminal interests, sought out Jackson Bryce and Herman Schultz, two other criminals who were working for Adrian Toomes, in order to purchase alien weapons. During the meeting, however, Davis encountered Spider-Man, who had saved his life. As a result of his life being saved, Davis agreed to help Spider-Man get all the alien guns off the streets, where they would undoubtedly end up endangering the lives of innocent people. I don't want those weapons in this neighborhood. I got a nephew who live here. Now, there are three reasons why this would suggest a Miles Morales version of Spider-Man was imminent in the MCU. One, Aaron Davis is Morales' uncle in the comics. Yeah, sorry, Miles. I'm, I'm not going to make it. Yeah, I'm just stuck. Two, Davis was played by Donald Glover, who was touted to portray Morales for many years. And you gotta think that that casting was intentional to stir up rumors. And three, Davis ultimately aligning himself with Spider-Man would suggest he'll be setting a good example to his nephew going forward, which could set him on a heroic path. Even if, as expected, Peter Parker is resurrected, after what he went through in Avengers Infinity War, there'd certainly be a question mark over whether he'd be ready to step straight back into the superhero game. If he has any memory at all of his death, there's more than enough trauma to make a rest period very understandable. In fact, even if he doesn't remember his death, and only remembers his journey into space and his fights against Call Obsidian, Ebony Maw, and Thanos, that's still a whole lot for someone who's essentially still a child to take in. Hi. Oh, hey, man. Yeah. Oh, that was scary. Yeah, you're done, all right? Remember, Tony Stark's journey into space in 2012's Avengers movie resulted in him suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder. So there's no reason why the same thing shouldn't happen with Parker, perhaps even on a larger scale given Parker's age. Marvel might also want Spider-Man to be a prominent member of the Avengers going forward in the MCU, which could very easily mean that Tom Holland appears only in Avengers movies. I guess... Avengers Assemble? That could have been better. While the actor playing Miles Morales carries the Spider-Man solo brand on his own, perhaps with some occasional support from Holland's Peter Parker. You can't both be Spider-Man. Okay, let's be fair and square. I'll be Spider-Man. I called it. 
If Parker's Avengers duties regularly take him around the world and indeed into space, New York will need its friendly neighborhood Spider-Man to combat the smaller, more local problems, criminals and supervillains. Another reason why this theory has surfaced is because of the upcoming animated movie, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. The movie will be released in December of this year, and it has Morales as its main character. This theory suggests that the animated offering could be being used by Marvel as a means of testing the waters regarding how much of a draw the character is. Some people are actually also theorizing that Into the Spider-Verse will be set in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, which would mean that the version of Morales we'll be seeing in that movie will actually be the same one who appears in the MCU going forward. Come on, dude, let's go. Miles! Morales is also set to have a major role in the Spider-Man PS4 game, which will be released in September of this year, and that adds further credence to the theory that Marvel are wanting to see how mainstream fans react to him before using him in the MCU. There's also the simple fact that the fourth Avengers movie will be the last movie of MCU Phase 3, which means that the movie directly after it, the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel, is by its very nature the start of a new era in the franchise. A new Spider-Man, therefore, actually makes a whole lot of sense. There's even a theory that Morales will appear in Avengers 4. The heroes of the MCU will need all the help they can get when it comes to taking down Thanos once and for all, so if there's another youngster with spider powers out there, Morales might have to answer the call, especially if he learns that the other Spider-Man was one of the victims of Thanos' finger snap. No way, neither of us could be dead. That's impossible, Peter Parker. So you're not dead? Marvel Studios has been criticized in the past for not having the balls to kill characters off, and for the fact that any deaths that did occur ended up meaning nothing in the long run. There are some claims from the studio that some of the Avengers Infinity War deaths are going to be permanent. And while we don't believe that for a second that Peter Parker is included in that, having Miles Morales take over as Spider-Man while Parker recovers from his experiences in the movie would at least show that his death affected him, that it actually meant something. And when he finally returns to superhero activities after his potential hiatus, seeing him being affected by his experiences going forward would really show that the events of Avengers Infinity War meant something. Phase 4 is set to take the MCU further into the cosmos than ever before, perhaps even bringing the idea of alternate universes into the franchise. And given that Miles Morales has lived a far more cosmic life than most teenage superheroes in the comics, he's met versions of himself from different universes and worked with the Avengers and the Champions to stop two Earths from combining into a single planet. How am I supposed to save the whole world? You have to think about saving one person. There's a very good argument to suggest he fits better into the fourth chapter better than Parker. Heck, if reality is altered in order to bring back the dead characters from Avengers Infinity War, things might not be exactly the same as they were before. So history could even be changed so that Morales, not Parker, received the spider bite that gave him Spider-Man's powers in the MCU. Will that end up happening? Only time will tell. I'm a new Spider-Man, and you're in my neighborhood. Now, still think it's fun to push people around? And that's the end of our video. Did you enjoy it? Do you think Miles Morales could be the lead character in the Spider-Man Homecoming sequel? Let us know your thoughts in the comments section below, and please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos just like this one. Bye for now.